Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, the director of Nature Reliance School, coming at you today for a Tactical Tuesday tip. Again, today we're going to be considering some things for concealed carry for your self-defense. So the situation we're going to consider today is what happens if you draw your weapon, you have to get to work, whatever it is you're going to do, what do you do from here? There is low ready and then there's high ready. So what do we need to do in this position and we're going to consider that today in this video. So the point I want to make is if I have to bring my weapon out to bear and do whatever I need to do with it and I come back, the issue here is the weapon and where it is pointing. So if I have it at a low ready, which is real simple, you can think about it as keeping your thumbs together and just opening your hand and bringing it to your core. And this way, the weapon is down. I can move around rather easily, bring it back to bear in any direction, and I have good control and muzzle discipline. If I come to here and I have a high ready, high ready, I can still do what I need to do. I still can turn and have a complete field of view ability to not muzzle anybody and at the same time consider myself safe and taking care of everybody that's safe around me. But what I do want to consider is one situation today where the low ready is going to be problematic. I want you to understand that I'm using my red gun, my training weapon today, in an effort to maintain as much safety as I can because I'm going to be utilizing my wife in this second portion of this video. And you'll see why I'm using the training weapon when I do this. The issue here is we go back and let's say something's going on. We've got a self-defense situation and maybe somebody's even shooting at us or something of that nature. And my wife's coming with me. We all know, and this is another video, the safest place for her is right down behind this engine block. If I've got a high ready position, I can do a couple of things. I can keep her down in this position because she's going to be excitable. She's going to want to get up and I want to keep her down. She gets up, I'm going to put my knee into her and my hand into her and keep her down. If I make contact, I can bring it up, go to contact, and I don't sweep her at all. However, if I come back to low ready at this position, I am in essence sweeping my wife with a weapon. Now, we all know the four rules of uh, utilizing a gun properly. I definitely don't have my finger on the trigger unless I have my sights on what I want to destroy. However, I don't want to take much risk here if I don't have to. So, a high ready position gives me the opportunity to do that. I can still defend her move where I need to, put my hand on her if she gets excitable. I can go one hand, do what I need to do, and at the same time, with my high ready position, I never muzzle her in this process. So, I want to emphasize for you that I am a beginner in many respects when it comes to self-defense with a handgun. I've only been practicing these skills heavily for about 12 or 13 years, so I would still consider myself um, only able to pass on some beginning aspects. If you want some uh, longer, more dedicated training, I highly recommend you find a trainer in your area. Uh, Iron Sight Defense, my good friend Rodney Van Zant, he's been a fantastic instructor for Nature Reliance School instructors. He's been very generous in what he's offered to teach us, and we highly recommend you support his organization. So, um, most of what I've learned, I've learned from Rodney. Uh, I've also trained with Aaron Little from Performance Edge. He's a great instructor as well. So check out these guys if you're here in this area. If you're not, then find a qualified instructor in your area to do a more advanced training and more dedicated long-term training than what I've offered you in these small snippets. I don't want to pretend that these little snippets add and take you up to a tactical operator. And you probably already noticed that there are a lot of times where a low ready is absolutely the best position for BN, for law enforcement, military operators. But again, those individuals are highly trained individuals for the most part. And so they have a, a different set of readiness and different needs than you and I as average ordinary citizens do. So again, everything that we do in regards to gun and gun safety, we want to make sure that we emphasize for you the need for you to have proper storage tactics for your weapon, the proper maintenance of your weapon, and the proper usage of your weapon. So always emphasize that in your training and your maintenance and your storage of your weapon so that everything's taken care of and nothing gets in the hands of the bad guys. So with everything we do at Nature Reliance School, come on, join in, let's learn together.